Hi, this is Sharon from Handy Caddy here, and I'm going to time myself and see how fast I can make a bowl cozy. And I have two cake, uh, what do you call it? I forgot what they call it, but it's a, it comes from a, a layer cake, a layer cake stack of fabric and two 10 inch squares of batting same size as the um, the layer cake squares. So I'm going to start by sewing an X on the pretty sides of the fabric. I thought about doing a recording in slow motion so we could speed this up, but this is gonna go pretty fast. Let's see how it goes. And it's actually exactly five o'clock my time, five o'clock PM. I made a few so that I would kind of knock off some of the mistakes catch this so that it doesn't fall off. Yeah. I'm sewing with a uh, Juki TL-98Q. What I love about it is that it has a um, thread cutter built in, which really saves me time. So now I've got my X's cut out on both sides. And now I'm going to sew the darts. So how you do that is to fold it in half. And unfortunately, I'm going to delay myself because my thread came out. But for 68 year old eyes, I actually threaded it pretty fast. How lucky is that? Okay, now I use this, um, I have a little hack to sew my dart so I don't have to cut anything. And so what I do, I'll give you the me measurements later. What I do is I just lay this piece right on here so I don't have to measure and sew my dart on all eight pieces. Flip it over. Make sure that your corners are even. So right next to it. You can make this from a business card. I taped it with blue tape so I could see my um, my contrast, because I'm going to be sewing on the batting side. No pinning. I can take these off. Fold it in half. Hopefully I didn't go off the edges with the video. I think I've got the video working pretty good.
maybe the longest time in making this is actually turning it inside out. So I'm at five minutes now. on my last dart and I don't do a lot of explaining but I folded on the stitching line making sure that it's even on both sides I line up the uh, edges of my little template on the edges of the fabric and I'm going to sew a parallel line next to that template Next, we are going to trim off all the darts. Now we're going to put the pretty sides together and even up the corners. When I put my um, seams together, I nest them so that the sewing machine doesn't bunch up all of the fabric in one side or the other. So I tend to put the seams to the left on the front of me so that when I um, nest my sewing needle down, the seams will want to bust, uh, want to butt up together so that the seam is pretty even. So one of the tricks that I wanted to explain is you always want to sew a corner because when you turn it inside out, you want to have a nice even corner. And I sew off the edge. I find that easier than to try to eyeball my my uh, seam. And I don't want to sew too far in. And I want to give myself a good three inches to turn it inside out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to that seam and start sewing right from that seam because I want that to be even. I use a slight back stitch on it. There's a little bit of an angle, and so when I can, I try to pivot that angle. Because there's so much fabric, you might want to check your um, presser foot and make sure it's not too tight. There's two layers of batting and two layers of fabric. And 
that I'm going to sew right up to the previous seam. And I'm done. And I have right here, I have three inches of space to turn it inside out. Now, before I turn it inside out, I'm going to check my corners, make sure I sewed them. And I want to trim off a little bit of the batting so that when I turn it inside out, it doesn't give me a hard time. I just barely made this corner. I mean, it's not rocket science. What you're doing is you're making a bowl cozy so that your fingers don't get hot when you make your, when you microwave your soup. And one more corner. Let's see. Yep, I did it. All right, I'm almost done. All I have to do is turn it inside out and then I will close up the seam. Here we are. Right now we're at about 12 minutes into it. So I may be done in about, I'm hoping to be done in 15 minutes, but if not, it'll be really close. So for Christmas, maybe a lot of my friends and family will get a bow, bowl cozy from me. That would be fun. Be just in time for the winter and winter will have more soup. This is also a, a fun thing to make for ice cream so that your hands don't have to feel cold when you're eating your ice cream. And I do want to experiment and try this with um, maybe a 12 inch square using the same template because I don't think I need my bowl to be any deeper. But uh, you get the idea. You can probably do this yourself. Let's see, I have a chopstick. Let's kind of push out the corners a little bit. The corners are going to be the part where you can grab your bowl from the microwave. And some people make them round. I don't really care that much. So here we are. We're nearly done. The well, last thing I want to do is um, even this out, get my batting kind of folded nicely. and turn the seams in so you can't see where the where I turned it inside out. So wrestling with this a little bit. Okay. I might put um, some clamps on it when I sew it so it doesn't wiggle away from me. I'll start my sewing on the other side of that seam and come up to this. Pivot. Try to keep your seam relatively centered. So I've got my eye on both the bottom and the top seam and I want to 
try and push out the seam as much as possible. Well, I am just shy of 15 minutes, but I think that's pretty good for talking and sewing at the same time. I hope you like this video. I don't always remember to ask you to subscribe, but I definitely would enjoy it if you let me know that you um, enjoyed my video. And if you have any questions, I'm at handicaddy.com. And I sell, sell practical and fun things for sewing and quilting and crafting. All right. There you go. There's one side. Here's the other side. Let me get you a bowl to show you. That's, this is a six inch bowl, diameter bowl. And here's another version. Thanks for watching.